Hi, my name's Kirsty and I run Edinburgh Food Social. We're a social enterprise, we're an organisation that focuses on taking Scotland's great local produce and ensuring that everyone in the country has access to it, particularly those facing the life challenges of poverty. We kind of have a few kind of main things that we focus on. One is education, and that's ensuring that everybody has the skills to know how to cook and interact with food in the kitchen. So we do that on two levels. We do kind of general food education that's open for everyone to access. And we do specifically our community food education, which is going into community centers, doing sort of classes where they'll end up in a big community dinner, but people can come and learn how to cook the dishes that are part of it. Last year we ran our first ever apprenticeship, which was proper full culinary training for someone that you can end up as a qualified chef. Hi, my name is Jamie and I'm a chef at Edinburgh Food Social. I started the apprenticeship back in September 2020 and now I have been a chef here for six months. Over the time I've gained more confidence and learned new skills. I believe that school didn't give me enough opportunities and that's why I applied for the apprenticeship at Edinburgh Food Social. Being a chef introduced me to new foods that are a lot tastier and come from local producers. It has inspired me to cook more and learn more to cook for my family and friends. My one line to bigger food brands would be to support local organisations and give back to the community. If any of you would like to do the same as me, you could start off as a volunteer to find out how to do that, you can have a look at our website. Over the past couple of years, we've worked a lot with Castlebrae High School. We've run lots of different projects, the main one being our food truck and schools projects, which we've run as part of their elective programme lots of times. The Food Truck and Schools project is a six to eight week long project where in the final week we take the kids out in the food truck where they serve and over the weeks that lead up to that they choose different recipes they want to learn, they learn about local food, the seasonality, budgeting and then they pull all that together and go out and feed from the food truck. It aims to teach them team working, working together to make decisions around what they should do in the food truck. And most importantly, it aims to make sure that they have fun together and end up thinking that food is great and something they want to be involved with. And then we've got kind of a slight other sort of project where we're going to be running over the next year, which we're really excited about. We're going to be working with Castlebury High School to kind of reimagine how the school does food. So instead of food being something that happens to young people at school, that they have a say in what they're eating and they're part of that process to ensure that everybody, you know, when they leave school has all of the skills they need to be able to provide for themselves and have a fulfilling and wonderful food life and that they actively enjoy enjoy the food that they eat and are part of at school. The relationship with food is generally quite poor. It's habitual, it's uh, in the generation above them. Um, at lunch times, again, eating just rubbishy foods, sweets, chocolate, crisps. They don't have a great knowledge of where food actually comes from and the food social gives them that, it shows them that there is good food out there and they, they might quite like to eat that good food. It's a wonderful project. Being greener is more important for your business and your customers than ever. Over 60% of Scots care that a brand does its bit for the environment. We've set up the STV Green Fund to help Scottish businesses doing their bit shout about it on STV. If you're making big changes, or even small changes, it all counts. Get in touch today to see if your business is eligible for the STV Green Fund. There's lots of, unfortunately, there's lots of problems in the food industry. Um, 
a couple of the kind of bigger problems are one around uh, I think people in Scotland and across the UK and across the world to some extent don't understand how to use the produce that we have on their doorstep you know so people get a veg box but they don't actually know what lots of the vegetables are or what they could do with the veg box but then there's also such a problem with waste um, it's a huge problem in the food industry. So we try and use as much kind of food waste as possible here at Edinburgh Food Social. So we, like kind of lots of other great organisations, have signed up to Fair Share and we use about 80 kilograms of food waste every week. It is just scandalous that we have people who are in food poverty, people that don't have access to food. Meanwhile, people are just discarding massive amounts of totally edible food. It existed before COVID, but sadly COVID exacerbated the problem. I mean, food insecurity, it's just so tied into poverty and the lack of kind of basic provisions that people need in this country. You know, whilst we have sky high rents and all of these problems, of course, people then can't make the decisions they need to purchase the food. And, you know, it's all good and well if you are able to access some free food, but if you don't have a pot to cook that in, or you don't have money to afford the electricity to heat it up in then that's a real problem the whole thing is orientated around profit and consumerism and that's not how we need our food system to be set up food is something that everybody has a right to food is something that everybody needs to have access to and we need to just see a whole shift in the way that we view think about talk about and interact with food since Covid struck we've fed uh, about now 125,000 people so that's obviously something that's had a massive impact. It shouldn't have had to happen, you know, we shouldn't be providing it, but it has. We've worked with lots of organisations like Fresh Start and their community pantries that operate because we wanted to make sure that our meals were being provided by people who knew them in the local area. Hi, my name's Abigail Jackson and I'm the hub team leader at Fresh Start. Fresh Start is a charity that works with people who are at risk of homelessness um, or have been homeless or are uh, resettling in the community and we provide them with starter pack goods, um, items that will help them make a home for themselves. In addition to that we have our new community hub and within the community hub we have a pantry and a shop. We shouldn't have food banks or pantries. Food banks and pantries shouldn't really exist but the fact that they do uh, it, there is a need there and people, you know, people need to get affordable, fresh food. I would want there to be a more streamlined approach to how the food is distributed fairly across society. If anybody wanted to get involved in the work of Fresh Start and Fresh Start Pantry, they could volunteer their time. Uh, you can go straight to our website www.freshstart.com web.org.uk or you can follow us on social media twitter instagram and facebook every organization has a responsibility to be thinking about and addressing climate change it is a very serious issue you know it's not something that's happening in the future it is happening right now and it's something that if we all don't start seriously addressing we're going to be in huge trouble and unfortunately lots of places lots of people communities and countries are already in huge trouble Everything from every small step that you can take as an organisation to be thinking about how you can reduce your emissions, what you can be doing to lobby the government to make them take bigger actions and what you can be doing to in generally collectively make people kind of change things but not just focusing on individual behaviour, focusing on the big kind of systematic changes moving away from fossil fuels and all these activities, then that's what we need to be doing. It's really important that as a society we understand our food if we want to think about uh, addressing climate change and saving the planet because we have to think about how many miles the food we're eating has travelled to get here, which industries and which companies we're supporting from who we purchase. You know, we're seeing the massive kind of reduction of seeds and the seeds being kind of like copyrighted basically. So farmers and people don't have access to grow the crops they want to access and to grow the most nutritious, delicious, healthy crops they have for years. Businesses have a massive amount of power in this country, in the UK as a whole, but it's not true that they are the only people that have power. 
that the communities and the people we work with, when we come together and when we talk about things and when we show that things should change, we have lots of power. And it's something which we just need to utilize and come together and talk about how it's different. You know, there's so many people that do passionately believe in a better food system. They believe that, you know, through changing the food system, we can help fight climate change and we can solve all of these bigger issues. And we just need everyone to come out and get active on these things. And that's how we're really gonna change and show that, yeah, we all have the power, not just kind of big businesses. You can get in touch with us by visiting our website at edinburghfoodsocial.org or by following us on social media and just looking up Edinburgh Food Social. Food is everything. You know, without food, we don't exist. But so much more than that, you know, food is joy. When you have friends over, you do it with food and that's how you talk about serious things, that's how you celebrate, that is how you ensure that people are able to concentrate, able to be paying attention, able to be learning things, able to have the energy they need to live. It's so important to everything that happens.